gentlemen welcome back to another video brought to you by Rib today we're back with some more GTA 5 RP and ESX server files so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up so these server based with the ESX framework these these frameworks that I work on for uh, the, I think it's about five months has gone into it at the minute uh, with thousands of edits hundreds of edits um, I release and I'm going to show you how to set these up. So if you want to start your own GTA 5 RP server, and this is a great framework to use. It's already all ready to go, tested, tried, tested, played for a long time. So first things first, I'm using a VPS server. I've always used VPS servers. This is a Windows 2012 um, four core VPS server. I think you could even run it with a two two core or three core, but I use a four core. And my main server is an eight core. So this is a Windows 2012 based out of Frankfurt um, yeah VPS server from nfoservers.com that's what I've always used so if you wondered why I'm not setting it up on I'm not setting it up on my own PC I'm setting it up on a VPS right so we've got the link of the video go over to your server drop your link in and go to my video and at the bottom of the video at the bottom of the video click this which will take you to my website where the link is uh, you'll have to log in or register so make sure you log in and register go to the first post and as you can see down here the full folder download that onto the server so once you've downloaded it on the server you'll be in my position right here it'll be called April I just create a, des a new folder on the desktop and I'll just drop it in there April with the SQL uh, so what we do need to do guys is in Heidi so download and install Heidi it'll look like this create a new session user root password no password open and let's go to what we want to do is run that SQL that we just downloaded so file run SQL desktop April oh sorry boys I'm jumping the gun go to create new database name this essential mode if you wanted to change the database's names, that would be in the server.cfg at the top. So select that database, go to File, Run SQL, rerun the April open. Okay, that's our database sorted. So if we refresh that, as you can see, every SQL I've ever inserted, all sorted, ready for you, for one file. Right, what we need to do now. We need to extract this, which will take a couple of minutes because it's three odd gig, and this is the only the small server. It probably does need a restart as we restarted it weeks. So once this is extracted, we're going the folder as you can see is called new ESX. We're going to move that over to the C drive. Database is sorted. Now we need to sort put the folder in its right directory and the good thing about VPS is guys you don't need to port forward with a VPS big bonus right, well, I'll pop back when it's done ok guys we're back so what we need to do right click this folder copy go to your C drive right click in the space and paste I've just done this to save the time and it's here so what you want to do now is open it up always make sure the cache is empty so control A delete Go into your cache, go into the files folder, and empty that contents. Go to a new ESX. When I restart the server, I empty the cache every time. So what you need to do now, guys, in the server.cfg, edit. Scroll down, 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 down. Change the name of your server. I'm going to call this number one, number two. Because it's going to be the white listed. Um, let's just add it. Where should we add it? Where should we add it? It doesn't matter, it's common knowledge, people will know it's why listed. Right, so let's save this. Right on that. Double click run. Click OK. Go to auto restart. And we should be able to go and join the server. So let's give it a go. When it loads up. 5M. It's pretty damn simple because I've put all the the actual 5M server structure and folders all together for you. It's already made. 
with all my files and the ESX framework. So yeah, everything is pretty simple now. I hope this video helps. If it's 5M bugged, 5M is being 5M. To close that, get here, get here, you little bugger. So you put 5M again. Five M. But he still loading that server. Come on, five M, you can do it. Don't be like that five M. I know it's a laptop. You serious? You got too much stuff on the go. Serious 5M? Jeez, are you serious? Third time lucky. Third time lucky. Don't click off. Yes, sorted. I'll speak too soon. No, we're, we're good. Now, I'm on a laptop, guys, and uh, yeah, it's doing quite a lot of things. So the server's up. So let's go to. Should be able to find it. So let's deal with the server. Let's go to server names. Go IP. Put the IP in there. So we found it, number two. Can we join it? So it looks like we can. Ten hours later, we're on. That's normal, boys. That's every time I join a server. Yep, yep. Okay, so we're on. We've got the hood in top right. So we need to change clothes. On oh, us. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. My clothes will change in a sec. So, no, everything's working. Everything's bloody working, that's simple. Server's up. Hope the video shows you how to do it. If I sound a bit tired, boys, I do it. Oh, sorry, boys, I'm uh, doing a video. <laughs> My mic's come on. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, they're all listening to me. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, hope it helps. Like, subscribe, boys. Peace out. Second server's up. Hope that explains how to get one up yourself. Adios.